Astronomers and scientists around the world verified that there's a chance Earth and this asteroid could collide on September 21st, 2030. NASA is planning a manned mission out to the asteroid to land. What the fuck? We ain't that far from it, cuz. Yo. And on. Look, man, the end of the world is coming, bro. Like, like the four horsemen, they are here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You got all this pestilence and famine and greed and cra like war, fucking just everything is going crazy in this world right now. Like, you got crazy anomalies being seen in the sky. You got unidentified objects being spotted floating around in the sky. You got unpredictable, unnatural weather bro historical weather is going on like fucking snow in mexico in the middle of summer bro come on like how bro you got wildfires breaking out all across the world where fucking smoke is being seen all the way in russia like wildfires breaking out right now being stretched all the way across to the north fucking bowl bro it's crazy like what is going on in this world you gotta think about it like this you got cern fucking trying to create black holes and control the fucking weather why bro like i mean i get if y'all trying to control the weather but what if y'all like behind all the unnatural like phenomena that go on bro you got all these viruses breaking out new like fucking monkey pox is starting to get big now fucking covid different strands of covid all different kinds of flu like all these crazy like 2020 was the kickoff you know what I'm saying? Like, 2020 started it all, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. We are in the end of times, bro. And, and I, I don't know how else to break it to y'all, man. But get right with whatever religion y'all with, bro. I'm telling you, dog. It's a scary world we live in, dog. Like, for real, bro. You got people out here just hate, bro. They just, they just hate. There's just nothing but hate in this world now. The world is dark, bro. And I'm telling y'all, man, like, get y'all shit together, man. Get everything y'all, you know what I'm saying, bro? Because, like, there's food shortages now. The country is on the brink of collapse. Like, the economy is fucking declining. It's crazy, bro. Like, we are in the fucking... I don't fucking know. But, no, nah, like, I just want to get straight into a video, though, man. I started watching, like, the first five, two minutes of it, two minutes of it. And then it just made me think, like, bro, I should make a video about this, bro. Because, like, this shit right here, it don't make no sense, bro. Like, we got to wake the fuck up, man. Shit is going on, y'all. Shit is going the fuck on, y'all. Wake the hell up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Wake the hell up, man. This shit is real, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Stop sleeping. Watched the news and felt like the end of the world was near? Well, you're not alone. It's eerie how many things in the news potentially point to the apocalypse. While many have tried and failed to predict the end of the world in the past, it seems like today might actually bring about the real thing. From advancing artificial intelligence and genetic engineering to rising political upheaval and tensions between global superpowers. Bro, what did I just tell you, dog? Like, you gotta think about it. Russia. Like, that's been... Hold on. Wait, I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm, I just wanna speak on this real quick, man. Russia has been, like, the biggest... You know what I'm saying? The biggest fear that we have ever wanted to not like encounter, bro. Like, I know America's America, and we're supposed to be the greatest and most powerful country in the fucking world. Come on now. Russia has always been a feared fucking... Like, them motherfuckers right there got nukes till the, till the end of days, bro. Like, if we go to a nuclear war with fucking Russia, bro, come on, man. Come on, bro. Like, I, I just, I just want to say, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be the end of the world, bro. Because you know how many people is allied with Russia right now? Like, if, if right now, I think our problem with Russia is the fact that, you know, they want to take over a country that they claim is theirs. And uh, Ukraine ain't going with that bullshit because they want to be independent. So what Russia want to do, they invade it. Now that we are involved... You know, we, if we, so-called, if we help Ukraine, you know what I'm saying, that's going to cause other conflicts with China. Now, you got to think, 
You got China and Russia together, bro. Ally, if they aim shit, bro, come on, bro. We about to be, we about to be dipping in the sand, y'all. Like I, I don't fucking know, bro. But it's it's just a lot of crazy shit going on right now, bro. Like this is the biggest scale war in history, bro. Right now being predicted to happen, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? So I, I whew, Godspeed. You know what I'm saying? Like. Trying to tell y'all, it's a whole bunch of shit going on, bro. I can't even keep up with it, dog. You know what I'm saying? But we're gonna get back to it, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Used to the list every day, and it's pretty terrifying. By the end of this list, you'll likely have a real desire to build a bunker and stockpile rations. I'm Mike with List <laughs> 25, and still with the cold. Here, are man. Like he said, bro, y'all better start racking up, dog. Like, y'all better start fucking getting y'all stocks together, bro. Like, start. Bro, I'm, I'm already getting food bags sent to me, dog. I'm already getting, I'm already stocking up my damn, uh, my, my storage unit with food. Like, all kinds of crazy shit, bro. Like, I'm preparing myself to, to literally, like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it. Uh, what's going on? Like, rent is out of control right now. Cost of living is out of fucking control, bro. People are being put out their homes. Like, the the eviction rate has went stupid up, like, th this whole year, bro. Like, I, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all. The cost of food, the cost of living, the cost of gas, bro. Like, everything is getting outrageous, dog. I'm Like, right now, bro, I'm paying damn near $1,600 for a one-bedroom apartment, bro. I shouldn't have been, I should not be paying that. You know, when I signed up, it was $1,200 a month. That was still high. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, it's just crazy, but like, I'm, I'm just preparing myself, y'all. Like, it's, it's crazy. There are 25 frightening signs the end of the world is near. Every year, a team of scientists makes a report on how close the world is to destruction. It's called the Doomsday Clock. Their most recent report in 2018 indicated we are two minutes to midnight due to the failure of world leadership to quell nuclear tension. In comparison, in 1991, the report indicated they were 17 minutes to midnight. 24. What? In 1991, Doomsday Clock. Their most recent report in 2018 indicated we are two minutes to midnight due to the failure of world leadership to quell nuclear tension. In comparison, in 1991, the report indicated they were 17 minutes to midnight. 24. I don't get that. Post-truth politics. For a long time, newspapers, nightly news on television, and academic experts were a trusted source for information. However, since the 2016 election and the rise of fake news, politicians have created a post-trust world where facts and verified information no longer matter. Without facts, anything can be true in anyone's mind, causing liberal democracies to fall apart that's another thing, bro. That's another thing I was just talking about that with somebody else, man. Like, literally, the the concept of knowledge is just thrown all the way to fuck to hell, dog. Like, literally, nobody knows anything because everything is just made up of a concoction of multiple different minds. Like, what I mean by that is literally, like, everything we know is either theory, an opinion, or, you know, a hypothesis, bro. Nothing is an actual fact in today's world, bro. So it's like what he just said, like literally <sighs> what we don't know, we can turn into the truth. Like literally, bro, like you can make a thousand conspiracies about one thing nowadays. Like I can have this bottle of thing. I can I could formulate diff like a hundred different imaginations about that just alone, bro, and make it true because what? You don't know about it. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 a whole different subject I wanna tap into. I'm gonna make another video about that, bro and people's civil rights to crumble, leading to more tyranny. 23. Wealthy Preppers. The super rich have more money than they know what to do with. In this case, they're spending billions on preparing for the end of the world, building high-tech bunkers under houses, and buying up tons of land in New Zealand. For instance, Peter Thiel bought property and even citizenship there, and Reddit CEO Steve Huffman got LASIK so he wouldn't have to worry about glasses in the apocalypse. 22. Religious Persecution Christians believe mass religious persecution will be a sign of the end times. 
According to a Yale study, 50 million people from the Middle East and Asia have been displaced largely due to religious persecution back in their home countries. Also, a Pew Research Center study indicated that in 2015, Christians were harassed by governments and social groups in more than 128 countries, more than any other religious group. 21. Arctic Melting The Arctic and Antarctica polar regions are paramount to a healthy world climate, but the ice is melting at a dramatic and surprising rates, which could cause a catastrophe if it reaches too low of levels. Scientists Man, if that shit melt all the way, dog, expect fucking water to be... We're going to need a spout to connect all the way to space to empty the amount of water that's about to fucking dump into the fucking countries, bro. Like, that is crazy, bro. So if you satellites to monitor the ice for 20 years and have seen a five-fold rate of ice loss since 1990. The thickness of the Arctic ice has also decreased by 40% since 1960. Scientists predict the Arctic could be without ice by 2040. 20. Bro, if that happens, we're done. We're done. We're dead. We're gonna need to be like literally living. They're gonna need to just break everything down and like construct everything to float on water by that time, bro. Like literally, you have to be living on the water. There's gonna be no land, no animals, no nature. <laughs> bro, we just gonna die. Like, how are you gonna live? Like, you know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it, bro. We won't be able to eat nothing but fishes. Damn. Rise of authoritarianism. From Russian leader Vladimir Putin to Chinese leader Xi Jinping, autocrats have always been in the world. That's the most scariest thing like <clears throat> I've heard so far, bro. I don't want to be under no kind of dictatorship, bro. Like, I can't do that, bro. I can't do that. However, there's a real fear that authoritarianism will continue to spread into the West, suppressing liberal democracy's influence in the world, and instead hailing bullies and tyrants. Delegitimizing democracy and promoting nationalism and authoritarianism could lead to wide-scale persecution, removal of civil rights, and war. 19. Rising tension among global powers. The United States, Russia, and China have been increasingly at odds with each other in recent years. And the conflicts in Syria and Ukraine... what I just tell y'all? what I just tell y'all, bro? ...Ukraine have tested <laughs> Russian and U.S. boundaries. Man, what I just tell y'all, bro? I, I don't even know if fucking Ukraine is part of NATO. I wonder if they are. Like, I'm not sure yet, but, bro... In the meantime, China continues to build man-made islands as military bases in contested waters and pushes its weight around in Southeast Asia. Yo, think about that, man. You know how big China's army is, bro? That's like fucking two Americas full of citizens. Like, they just have a big-ass army, bro. Like, ah, uh, come on, bro. If they, if China and Russia partner up, and go to war with us, bro. They could literally fight two wars with just them alone. Like, I, that's what I believe. Rising tension and a poorly calculated political move could spark World War III, meaning nuclear holocaust. Nuclear holocaust, bro. We are going to melt. Cost and millions dead. 18. Antibiotic resistance. For decades, antibiotics have been a saving grace in the medical world, capable of curing many deadly diseases and saving millions of lives. However, in recent years, due to misuse and overuse of antibiotics, certain bacteria have shown resistance to the drugs, evolving into superbugs with no known cure. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck did I just hear? That is the scariest thing I've just heard so far. I thought that authoritarianism crap was was news to my ears, but bro, what? That means literally we are in. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm staying in the house, bro. I'm not going nowhere. I ain't shaking no hands. I I'm getting in nobody's face. Goddamn, bro. Cause you, look, look, you already got all these crazy ass viruses and shit going around right now, bro like big ass outbreaks you know what i'm saying complete oh my god i i, I don't know i can't I, I can't bear it i don't know i don't know what i do i can't i don't know
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. If these strains all become fully resistant, antibiotics would virtually become useless, throwing society back hundreds of years with the potential for millions of lives lost. 17. Extinction. Super volcano. It might sound like something out of a bad movie on Netflix, but super volcanoes, more formally known as calderas, are very real ticking time bombs for the planet. Yellowstone, for example, is a beautiful and majestic park in the U.S. housing one of these time bombs. Geologists say Yellowstone's volcano Fuck, bro. <clears throat> Yellowstone ain't too far from me, brother. Volcano is capable of eruption a thousand times more powerful than Mount St. Helens and could blanket the U.S. in ash and trigger a new ice age. With the recent eruption on Kilauea, many wonder if Yellowstone is next. 16. Surveillance State. The internet has... I wonder what in the fuck kind of precautions do they have in, like, in, like, in prep right now to like save us from that like you know what i'm saying like do they have any kind of like i don't know protocol what whatever the fuck to you know what i'm saying save us from that kind of shit bro like that's crazy provided the world with many benefits including better communication tools new markets and you know cat memes regrettably it's also created a mass surveillance state across the globe with revelations from WikiLeaks and Edward Snowden on government surveillance to the recent Facebook data scandal, it's become clear privacy doesn't really exist anymore. Of course privacy doesn't exist anymore. I mean, what? Come on. Without more laws protecting private citizens, an oppressive government could easily destabilize society and undermine liberal democracy. 15. A looming ice age. A professor from Northumbria University named Valentina Zharkova postulated that changes in temperature from the sun could plunge the earth into a new ice age between 2020 and 2050. I don't understand how the fuck that's theoretically correct. I mean, if the sun is about to fucking roast us, how the fuck is it going to cause an ice age? Unless I just heard him wrong. She believes the sun blooming ice age. A professor from Northumbria University named Valentina Zharkova postulated that changes in temperature from the sun could plunge the earth into a new ice age between 2020 and 2050. She believes the sun goes through cycles with the amount of heat it produces. It's believed this happened before, between 1645 and 1700. 14. So you're telling me that it goes through cycles to where like it gets cooler because it seems to have been getting hotter and hotter and hotter every year you know <clears throat> the sun does grow you know it, it's a big it's a star it's nothing but a big ass plasma ball that just expands and expands and expands that's why it's predicted to explode in a few million years and when that happens whew. 2000 sg344 the end of the world has a name, and it's called 2000 SG-344. Okay, arguably that's not the most inventive or dramatic name. It is, however, an asteroid headed our way. Astronomers and scientists around the world verified that there's a chance Earth and this asteroid could collide on September 21st, 2030. NASA is planning a manned mission out to the asteroid to land- What the fuck? We ain't that far from it, cuz. Yo. And on it around 2030 as a stepping stone to reaching Mars. 13. No, 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 no. I'm not about to just get over that, bro. It's 2023. Well, it's about to be 2023 next year, right? He said 2030. This, we're, we're possibly going to be able to see that motherfucker, basically. <clears throat> Dude, what the hell? Bro, they better come up with something, dog. I, hey. Like, completely just chill out real quick and just imagine just watching a fat ass rock just come shoot straight towards the earth and you're just sitting there looking at it. And it's probably bigger than the earth itself. So, imagine that. Like, that shit has to smash us. You, you gotta think, just, just think about that. Like, we're this, this is the rock. We're just sitting on top of this rock and it's just coming like this. We're just waiting and staring at it, getting ready to squash us. 
probably with the fucking metric force of <clears throat> a kajillion fucking TNT bombs. You don't know how fast that shit's going. Killing 500 million people around the world. That was almost 100 years ago. Pink stone to reaching Mars. 13. Flu pandemic. The last flu pandemic was the Spanish flu, killing 500 million people around the world. Man. That was almost 100 years ago. Bill Gates and medical experts have sounded the alarm that we are due for another flu pandemic, and we're sorely unprepared. With the amount of mass transportation available in the world, including airplanes, boats, and trains, an unstoppable flu virus could spread like wildfire and kill 30 million people in a matter of months. 12. Joblessness due to artificial intelligence. It's no secret artificial intelligence is advancing at a staggering rate. With better automation, experts predict one-third of U.S. workers will be jobless by 2030. No, just in time for that asteroid. 800 million workers will be displaced globally. Physical jobs are the most likely to be replaced with automation, including operating machinery and preparing fast food. With wide-scale unemployment, the division between wealthy and poor will only increase, leading to dramatic societal unrest and poverty. 11. Another Great Depression Predicting or seeing the signs of another Great Depression is no easy feat, but recently- Shit, <clears throat> if, fucking, if fucking robots are about to take over, bro, then shit, of course you're gonna hit a Great Depression. It's no question. Some experts have sounded the alarm, saying we're headed toward one. Yeah. Mark Yusko, CEO of Morgan Creek Capital, has made this prediction, believing things are flowing in the same way they did when the first Great Depression struck. Of course, even mass unemployment due to artificial intelligence could be a major cause. 10. Killer Robots The advancement of artificial intelligence won't just kill your job, it'll kill you too. A new arms race is already underway, with global superpowers working to create autonomous drones and weaponry that can analyze data and make a decision to kill. While some might argue this will make warfare less bloody, if artificial intelligence somehow attained consciousness, it could also mean the end of humanity. 9. Genetic Engineering Catastrophe If they know this shit, right? If, if they understand and know that they're making completely autonomous fucking artificial machinery, like, you know what I'm saying? That is capable of developing and analyzing, like, its environment around itself and fucking putting all that to a, 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 a conscience you know what I'm saying to where it's to, to where it knows things like we do if they understand this shit why do y'all want to build it like 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 seriously why in the fuck do y'all want to sit over here and make something that can turn into a thousand terminators like like what the fuck like what what benefit is, does, does that do anybody yeah, we, we know that, you know, we're going to build robots in the future. And if they gain consciousness, you know, and fully, you know, <clears throat> you know, uh, unlock their intelligence, then we're doomed. So what? You, you're just going to write our doom day out for us? Like, like, come on, man. Y'all like, just, I don't know what's up with scientists. Y all, y all Advanced about? genetic engineering tools like CRISPR have... <laughs> y'all literally are worse than extreme religious people, like extremists, bro. Like, I think scientists are the new extremists, and we're just undermining it because they are scholars, and they have doctorates, and they have degrees, and they keep us alive. But scientists are going to be the end of us. ...have been hailed as a new technology to cure cancer and eradicate birth defects. However, by effectively tampering with the human genome, we could inadvertently cause tons of problems, including creating a superhuman race that will persecute and potentially kill the old or designing an unstoppable virus. 8. Solar Flare 150 years ago, a massive solar flare hit the Earth. Back then, with little electronic technology, the damage was insignificant. However, scientists believe we could be due for another any time. And if it does occur, it'll be catastrophic for society because the flare will knock out the Earth's electrical grid, causing trillions of dollars in damage. Not only that, bro, but the solar flares are capable of fucking literally knocking the Earth's magnetic field on the other side. If y'all ever heard of that, like... If that happens, that means the North Pole will be the new South Pole. And if that happens... 
we we just fucked. Like I that that's gonna be a bunch of unfolding catastrophic events. With our society dependent on computers, it's fairly easy to imagine chaos ensuing. Like imagine how many people will go insane not being able to watch list 25 videos. Dude, dude, yo, what he just said right there is crazy because we in a generation where fucking social media and your phone is like your soul. And if you can't, motherfuckers can't even go like 10 seconds without this shit. You know what I'm saying? So I already know what's coming with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to be the new purge. It'll be madness. Seven potential contact with extraterrestrials. It's a hard thing to imagine, but there's a possibility we can make contact with extraterrestrials. In fact, our technological advances make it even more likely. Some scientists believe we could potentially make contact within the next decade. While this might sound exciting, it That's not exciting, bro. We watch enough movies to where they see, we get invaded by the motherfuckers and they want to destroy and kill us for no fucking reason whatsoever, bro. We, we see enough movies, bro. It could also lead to a total cataclysm of the earth. If the extraterrestrial- Speaking of that, you got CERN trying to make fucking wormholes and black holes and shit, trying to invite extraterrestrials through warp holes and shit. So what if what are the odds if they make the big ass black hole and next thing you know you start seeing a string of army ships coming flying through into our atmosphere? Whew. I don't know. I'm just crazy. Girls are more advanced than we are, then they'll likely wipe us out. There's also the threat that they could bring new diseases. Six. World ending cyber attack. With the internet becoming part of our everyday lives, cyber attacks are more common than ever. Shit, we just had one. We got hell for ransom. From stealing credit cards to personal information, hackers continue to become more crafty. In 2017, a cyber attack hit more than 150 countries in a never before seen attempt that crippled the world's largest institutions. One can imagine it's only a matter of time before something else is released and it's successful in taking down the entire system. Five, ecosystem collapse. The world's climate is drastically changing, causing just got through saying that. unprecedented famine, droughts, and floods in unexpected places. With such drastic changes in the environment, entire species of plants and animals could go extinct, causing a collapse of the ecosystem. Using satellites, scientists have said this process has already begun. Four, science mistake. With the growing advancement of scientific knowledge, scientists wield a tremendous amount of power. From the Hadron Collider to building artificial intelligence, we're now nearing a point where all it can take is one mistake from a lab for everything to go wrong and destroy the world. CERN, CERN is that mistake. I think there's plenty of controls in place to prevent something like that from happening. Scientists have made plenty of mistakes in the past. Three, nanotechnology catastrophe. Nanotechnology is an up and coming new tech that utilizes tiny robots to carry out specific functions. Scientists hope this could help cure and prevent diseases. However, they also fear it could wipe out all life on Earth by self-replicating and devouring everything in its path in what is known as the Grey Goo scenario. 2. Mass Insanity Despite having never before seen- Shit, we already suffer from mass insanity, bro. Like, come on, man. You got motherfuckers shooting in crowds and all kinds of shit. We just- ma Mass killings going on all over the- all over the place, bro. I was possessed. The devil told me to do so. In comfort in many developed nations, the world is increasingly developing more mental disorders like depression, anxiety, and bipolar. The reason why the world is falling into that kind of category is due to the fact of what we see on the internet every day, bro. It's literally like nothing but negativity being like published all over the place. Like you look on Facebook, <clears throat> it's nothing but depressive ass memes and quotes and motherfucking people always got it's, it's, it's i don't know why people are just promoting like I, I don't know people are just promoting all this negative you see all this fighting killing look at the music look at the rap industry like come on now like all we know how to do is kill get money sell drugs all this other crazy shit trap 
fuck bitches, get hoes, go out, party, drink, and kill ourselves, and whatever the fuck, bro. Or, you know what I'm saying, go on social media and, and, and just be depressed. Like, look at the news. The news doesn't fucking share anything positive. All the news knows how to do is give you news. Like, that, that's all the news knows how to do, bro. Sit over there and tell you, hey, yo, there's a killer in your neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? All they do is invoke and promote fear into the fucking masses, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we live by that, by the day-to-day basis. So, of course, people are developing all these mental fucking insanities, like fear, p- paranoia, depression, all this crazy shit going on, bro. It's what you see every day. It's what you see in here, bro. And people need to wake the fuck up and snap out of that shit, bro. Like, for real. The World Health Organization stated that 300 million people worldwide have depression, an increase of 18% from 2005. If mental disorders continue to rise and they're left stigmatized, ignored, and untreated, the world would easily become destabilized. One, the simulation ends. It might sound strange, like tinfoil hat level of strange. And that's another theory to tap into, man. Like, (laughs) what if we all in a damn matrix? Oh my God. But a growing consensus has been forming in the technology industry that we could be living in a computer simulation. Called the simulation hypothesis, it postulates that we're nearing a time where humans can realistically simulate life on Earth using advanced computers. If that's the case, there's a chance it's already happened and we're living inside one of those simulations. This hypothesis also states that the simulation will eventually end when we reach the point of creating our own simulation. So, the end of the world could just be a simulation rebooting. So- No, what? The fuck? Like he said in the majority of all that stuff, bro. What did I tell you in the beginning? All of that is related to us. The only the only thing that is not related to us is unnatural things that are happening, like meteors falling from space. But other than that, or the sun blowing up or sending solar flares and shit like that. But other than that, everything else, is on us not necessarily us but scientists it's scientists i don't i don't why oh yeah let's 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 concoct a fucking black hole and you know that's gonna make us millions of dollars i don't fucking know bro like this world is ending y'all it's gonna end in one of those 25 ways bro and i'm in I don't want to be here to see it, dog. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, bro, start start stacking your money now. Start saving up your food. Start getting unperishables. Get a storage place, bro. Right now, bro. Stock up. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit is crazy, bro. You know what I'm saying? We're going to fall into one of those categories sooner or later, bro. Like, I'll pray for the world, man. Y'all be easy. It's your boy Busy.